fire because that's these warm colours or you could paint a flower or you could paint a sun and I'm going to show you how I'm starting. I'm going to start with a circle in the middle. And then I'm going to use my brush. I'm going to dab it in a bit of red and I'm going to do little brush strokes. Little brush strokes going around the circle. Now you will start to discover that when you mix the red and the yellow together, it makes another colour. It, that's correct, it does make orange. So we can pick up some other colours and I want you to fill all the way to the edge so you can't see any of the wood. So we're going to paint all the way around doing these little little brush strokes going all the way around and what looks super cool going to finish painting here. What looks super cool is that I can get a bit of yellow and brush it over. I don't want too much on my brush so I can wipe it on the edge and I'm going to brush out the yellow around the edge and it's going to start to go into orangey and mix the red and yellow together to make some orangey colours and you get that sunburst look like this one. Then I might want to fix up my circle a little bit if it was a bit not neat. And there I've got my cool little thing ready. Now, can you see here I've got these little silver things. So when we finish painting on them, they hang from the holes here and they will make a cute little sound when the wind blows them. So it's going to be a little wind chime. And this hole here, it hangs from and it will spin around. So we're going to have a little warm colours on one side and then cool on the, colour the other time. Now, what can you paint on your piece of paper once you've finished painting this? Well, you paint warm things. So you might want to draw some fire. You might want to draw some suns and some flowers, some sunflowers or some roses, a red roses so you can decide what you want to paint on your page to represent warm okay at the end of the lesson I want you to wash your brush and I want you to run it under the water not too hard so it sprays everywhere and I want you to push your brush into the palm of your hand till all the water and the paint and the water runs clear. There's no more paint in it. And then make sure you wash the handle as well. And then you put it in the dish rack. Okay, you'll see all of the bristles are painting pointing one way and the handle painting the other way. So you put it to dry in the dish rack. Then you make sure you've got no paint on your hands. Then we dry your hands. And then when we've completely cleaned up the whole room, we take the smocks off last. So don't take your smocks off till I say smocks off because we might still have to pack up the paint that's on the tables and the protective tablecloths that are on the tables as well. Okay.